Well, how do that, chums? Does I come from other Steve's and today, chums, for you guys, in view of us, I've got something quite special for you. It's not No Man's Sky, though. No, this is Starfield, and Bethesda have put out three videos. I'm going to watch them back to back with you, and we're going to go over go over them. I, I've watched one, and yeah, th there's no actual talking in there, so I think I can talk over the top of it quite successfully. So let's uh, jump on over onto the Tinter webs. Boom! There I am on Bethesda's channel. So yeah, you are going to be able to see me throughout the duration of this. But if you want to hit these up, I'll put a link inside the video description to Bethesda's channel and you can hit these up to your heart's content. Anyway, let's open up the first one, shall we, people? Here we go. Boom. Uh, let's just make sure that it's on the top settings possible. One second, people. I don't want you to have an echo. So I'll turn that down a little bit on there. Hopefully you can still hear it. Right now, and let's make this as nice as big as possible. And let's turn on up the quality. Now it's it's all cartoon people. But I'm wondering whether these are sort of like background traits of people joining constellation. So here we go. This is entering into New Atlantis, which is one of the starting sort of cities, I believe. This chap seems to be some sort of intergalactic mailman. Well, that's what it looks like. You would have thought they would have had a better way of transporting mail in the future. But here we go. This is well, this is my take on it. I mean, sound off in the comments if you think I'm incorrect on this one. But it looks like it's got something, some sort of package. It's like an intergalactic Amazon flyer or something. The Vanguard, join now. So yeah, I am wondering whether this has got something to do with background traits, people. Well, you know what? Although my hair looks quite dapper, I think people got quite used to seeing me in my flat cap. Oh yeah. Boom! I just saw him with his cap on and thought, why the fuck not? Yeah, that's look pretty darn sweet, doesn't it? This does look like a story path. You know, like in like Cyberpunk, where you can join, you can choose like Street Rats, or you can choose like the, oh, what is it? The, the office type guy and all that sort of stuff. It seems like that sort of stuff. I'm loving all of this. That looks so sweet, doesn't it? And they look like the credits, those sort of like elongated bars with holes drilled in them. Ah, yeah, those things. Remind me a little bit of the currency inside of the Mandalorian. You know, very cool. Wow. The animation is pretty good, really, isn't it? I wonder if they did this inside of the studio or whether they actually hired some external third party company to put this together, because it's actually really quite cool. I bet they could sell this to sort of Netflix if they made half an hour episodes or something. I know, I'd watch it. I guess I would. Especially if I get really into this game. That's to the immersion, isn't it? I just can't wait to play this now, people. September the 6th feels like an age away, doesn't it? But it's, it really isn't. It really isn't that far when you think about it. So that's episode one. And yeah, that looks like, you know, you could join maybe Constellation that way. But anyway, episode two. Let's hit up episode two. Here we are. Chickaboom. Lovely jobs. And I'm wondering whether these are given give us some sort of hints as to what to expect when we do jump into game. Oh, I hate it when it does this, people. It, it, it can be a little bit finicky at times, can't it? The old tube of you. Uh, yeah. Where hope is built. Pretty sweet. Okay. Aquila City. Is this more of the country western type one? I think it is, isn't it? Go on. The Free Star Collective. So he's got this old ship. It looks like he's fixing up or something. I don't know whether it's a he or a she, to be honest, but there we are. Got it. Very nice. Solomon on the actual sign there at the start. It was like he's hounding around this piece and nobody really knows where to point him. Oh, there's a statue pointing the way, mate. That girls. Go that way. Exomex? Seriously? Is there a chance? I know that we get like a, a mechanoid companion that comes about with us, but an actual one that you can get inside, like a war mech? Is that going to be a thing, or are we going to come across bad guys in them? It's more likely bad guys. I can't imagine us being able to get in one. We might. Dunno. Was that a skull above the door there? And I hope we can adorn our bases with skulls and trophies and beasts that we find. 
Right, he's a bit of a nasty git, isn't he? Look at the size of that gun, though. Pow! Tell you what, and the frickin' chops, mate! Oh, gosh. Okay, well, he's dusted himself off. He seems okay. There's that currency again. I think it might be a lass, actually, with the eyelashes. Nope, doesn't want that. Hopefully he finds the part that they need. Boom! Thank you. It reminds me a little bit of the old Ulysses 31. I grew up on Ulysses 31. In fact, I'm not... I kind of feel like I need to watch that again now. It'd be freaking A's. This is brilliant. If they did do half an hour episodes of this, I'd be so into it. Especially if they added in some narration and actual voice acting and stuff like that. Freaking on point. Even even though it's a work of art, I've, I've got a feeling that, you know, if they can put this much love into a few release trailers, what's the game going to be like, you know? It, it does make you wonder, doesn't it? There we go, let's hit, hit up the next one then. So this is the last one. I'm kind of gutted that we've nearly reached the end of all three of these. I've done that freaking thing again. I have to wait for the page to load rather than hitting full screen straight away. Maybe it's because I've got um, that uh, tube buddy installed, who knows. I'm going to another area of space. The hand that feeds. Awesomes! I do think that these might be background paths. Hopefully we're going to see a few more of these before release. That'd be cool, wouldn't it? Neo, this is another starting city. So I do think this is going to be life paths. Maybe it even plays these as cutscenes, perhaps. Who knows? This is the pleasure city. Pretty cool. Okay, right, so these guys are thieves. and just made off with a frickin' handbag or two. And uh, I guess they're pawning them in. Yeah, and give us some moolah. And they bought themselves some weapons. I guess they're going to up the stakes and up the ante a bit. It's like the old Atari sign. Hmm, no, it doesn't actually. It's a more Japanese-y symbol, doesn't it? I wonder if that's one of the factions inside a game or something. One of the cartels. Okay. Oh, well, they found a little bloke there. And load of dead bodies. What the fudge happened there? Oh dear. Okay, well that sign's obviously got something in, of gravitas and importance about it. To the point they're having a freaking tussle up between the two of them. I guess there's no friends amongst thieves. There is that saying, isn't there? Well, you you need a new jacket now, mate. <laughs> Lucky that wasn't just an inch lower. I do like the actual, the, the, the actual, what they're actually wearing, the gear that they're wearing, the clothing and all sorts. Looks great, doesn't it? Okay, cool. Right, yeah, this looks quite... Corpo, that's what I was thinking of earlier. With um, This almost looks like a Corpo sort of back in, doesn't it? You know, in a roundabout way. Looks like she's become some kind of bodyguard type thing for this corporation. Yeah, Corpo was one of the other life paths inside of Cyberpunk, wasn't it? There we go, that's all three of them done. Dang it! Uh, that is awesome, though. That is really freaking awesome. Very, very cool. And um, it, it, I know what, it, it's got me sort of very hyped up. Very hyped up, people, for the release of this game. You know, like I was saying inside of this, if, if they can put this much love into a couple of trailers, how much more love and how much polish have they been putting into this game? I know it got delayed, but it hasn't been delayed for good reason. I'm going to say yes, going by the amount of hype that's built into this actual release of this game and the amount of stuff that's riding on it for the old Xbox uh, and Microsoft in general. I mean, this title, it's got to pack a punch. It really has for them to stand a chance of clawing back some of the sales for their consoles. I know that I'm in two minds to actually go and buy myself a console or to play this on my game in PC, and I still am. I'm still in two minds about that one. We would have to see how my PC fares on release. Anyway, people, hope you enjoyed this video. Take care. Goodbye, goodbye. And goodbye again.